When I was told I was going to be awarded a certificate or a prize or something, which I, I did not, I was not aware that there was an, examina an examining or examination process for the award of such of, of this kind. I still don't know what the, the prize would be, but uh, I'm looking forward to it with anticipation. Anyway, having said through the discussions, I now know that it's about uh, sharing information with the public, and you apparently you can score marks for, for, for that. And of course, now that I know, if I get re-elected, I'll try harder. <laughs> But I want to thank my officers who have been doing this work in the finance department and in the information department for uploading the information as and when required. And uh, of course the, the prize really belongs to them, I'm just receiving it on their behalf. And uh, I will gladly receive it and send it to them and I hope it will motivate them to try harder in the future. Having said that, as I said through all the speeches, I came to realize that we have indeed come a very, very long way. There's still work to do, but uh, we have come a really long way. I was first elected to parliament in 1997, and it was a very, very different time. To begin with, what is relevant to this uh, discussion we're having today? I don't recall there being a lot of public participation at the time. I don't recall there being uh, communication tools available as we have now. We had an entire administrative division which had only one call box. And even the call box was the one where you had to <laughs> twist uh, the handle. And then the operator could listen to everything that everybody said in the village and he was the conveyor of gossip, <laughs> I would imagine. And, uh, and now everybody has a mobile phone, some have two sim SIMs, some have more than one, some have uh, the smart phones, and some have the normal phones which can only do SMSs. So we should need to take uh, cognizance of this uh, fact that uh, we, 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 not compare, we should not be comparing apples and oranges. Uh, Madam Nyamai talked about Mombasa having 1.2 million people. Now Mombasa has that 1.2 million people, but it's, if you try to fit it into the map of Lamu, you find it occupies a very small space. So it's easy to communicate, it's easy for people to come to the meetings, if you call them for public participation. And uh, the poverty levels also are different, because, uh, okay, some of us have access to telephones, but uh, like I said, we don't have access to the internet. So it, it, it's an unequal, uh, environment, uh, unequal environment, and uh, the competition is, needs to take into account these uh, handicaps that some of us have. And then uh, being uh, the government, the county government, we want to please our customers. And if we feel that uh, this media or this medium is not going to reach our people, we're not going to bother much with it. Because I know in Lamu now, very, very few people buy newspapers. And even in the old days when they used to buy, they would buy yesterday's newspaper and it's only a few teachers who could afford to have it. So I would not bother to look for headlines. I would have to go to the villages and talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, and then the message would come across, and I also will learn from them what the priorities are. Which brings me to another topic uh, about CIDPs and uh, these plans that we have. They need to be a bit flexible and allow room for politics and uh, sometimes things come up which you did not anticipate. They should not be straight jackets where they tie our hands and then when something does come up which is genuine, a felt need of the public that we serve, we find that we have so many constraints and restraints in actually delivering that uh, public good that is being demanded. And uh, this of course is, is not for this uh, venue, maybe the legislators need to know about it. But of course, some of you are in uh, advisory positions or will be elected as <laughs> legislators in the coming few months. And I'd uh, request that you keep this in mind. But uh, I'm very pleased to be here. I'm glad that we're having this uh, participation. 
and this encouragement of participation and uh, I hope we get the results that we desire and we, public, we serve the public, we are privileged to serve in an even better, and more efficient and more responsive way. With those remarks I say thank you and I'd like to invite uh, Honorable Kahiga from Nyeri to come and give his remarks. Thank you.